Does anyone does 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 anyone use statistics nowadays? I mean, I thought it's just like a more of a feel, you know. You're like, oh, this is probably about right. You don't really use statistics, right? Um, I don't remember statistics, but I'm gonna try to refresh your memory as much as my memory has not been refreshed. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, we're gonna need to know something about normal distributions. Uh, what the, what are these definitions they're throwing out as deviations? What probability? What? 15 minutes what are you talking about all right let me show you one thing right here um well we're trying to find the the round well, if we select a round what is probability of a phone call lasting at least 15.5 minutes or more than 15.5 minutes well let me tell you we're gonna need to determine something called a dz score or something i don't know it, it's you look up at the the table of standard normal probabilities that'll be provided on the fa exam so don't um spend 300 hours trying to memorize this table uh, to the 16th decimal place if you do that that is quite impressive but such a waste of time so I'm sorry for your uh, for your, for you even doing that but let's define a few things here so we have a mean length the mean length is the normal distribution of the uh, or the average of the distribution of the population so we're gonna say that's gonna be 10 point M I N. the only reason I use the word population because I remember that word vaguely and I don't know how to use it correctly but it sounded cool and then we have this thing called a standard deviation of 2.5 now that's another nice thing that they give you and they want to figure out basically how long or, or, or what not how long how what's the probability of, of a phone call lasting more than 15.5 minutes now to determine that you have to use this thing called the z-score you look this up on the table again at the fe exam will provide this uh, this equation for you you just got to know how to use it and when to use it so our z-score will be something like this um, the only thing I didn't define is our X. This is basically the point where they're trying to find when this thing will happen, which is 15.5. Uh, so we're going to use that. So we plug in these values into the Z-score and see what we get. We do get a Z-score of 2.2. Now, now, what's interesting about this table, though, is that the distribution is from the left to the right. That's a good problem for us because we're looking for the distribution or the area underneath the curve from right to left. Now, if this is a fundamental thing you got to remember from statistics is that the area underneath the distribution curve is equal to 1. Because again, it's 100% or 0%. There's nothing in between or above. Or actually, it's all between but nothing above or below. So, if we look this a z-score on the table for a table that looks like this one. From our z-score uh, normal distribution table, what we're going to get is a probability of 98.61%. Uh, that is a probability of being less than 15.5 minutes. But if we want it to be above, we just do 100 minus that number. So we do 100 minus that bad boy. Uh, what's that going to be? 1.4, I believe. 1.4% of a chance that the phone call is going to be lasting more than 15.5 minutes. Now, that's a long phone call.